Action Aid Nigeria, a non-governmental organization, has called for proactive steps to mitigate flood disaster this year. Speaking through representatives, the director of programs, Shuaiba Dankobo, said for 11 years, flood has become a perennial challenge with increased intensity every year. She mentioned that the 2022 destruction and human displacement caused by flooding surpasses that of 2012 and judged the worst in 40 years. She called on the state and federal governments to take immediate steps to deal with the factors that could trigger a disaster. News reports characterize the 2012 flooding as the worst in more than 40 years. But we still experience flood in 2022, which is said that the level of destruction and human displacement surpassed that of 2012. In 2014, 100,000 were displayed, with 53 deaths across 11 states recorded with floods. Thousands of houses, farmlands, and properties worth billions of naira were also lost to the flood disasters in many local government areas affected in the northern states. Actually, in Nigeria appeals to the federal government and state governments, emergency management agencies, and all concerned stakeholders to ensure that their contingency plans and intervention of uh, on floods this year commensurate with the level of impact on the lives of people. Now it's time for Nigeria, particularly states that were heavily hit last year, like Baesa, Jigawa, Anambra, Cross River, Akwa Ibom, Lagos, Abia, Edo, among others, Jigawa and some places in the northeast, to activate her flood preparedness plan and communicate them to likely communities and prepare them ahead. Those communities that are likely to be affected so that we have minimal possible losses of impact. All we are trying to do is to conscientize Nigeria as regards the early warning signs. And we are glad too that different agencies across the country have been calling people to attention for the fact that this thing is inevitable. So if we have these early warnings, then we have to roll up our sleeves and ensure that all hands are on deck to put this at bay in such a way that there will be minimal impact on human lives and livelihoods of people. We are constructing shelters, even in Jigawa State, we are constructing 20 shelters where people can be moved um, as the floods begin. We are providing livelihood on an ongoing basis for up to um, 200 women um, currently, and then we are training on early warning. Um, we are training people so that they can react. You know, one of the things she said in her speech is that when the government makes an announcement like um, go to the highlands, what exactly does that mean for people? So that needs to be broken down for people for them to know what action they can take. And not wait until they are really, you know, um, most hit before they start trying to rush around for emergencies. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.